A win for UNA would get them to 6-3 in the A-Sun, which with help could get them to third place in the league standings. Under five minutes to go now in the second quarter. Diagonal pass to Sarah Walgamuth, who shovels, shovels it to Alex Catlins in the corner, knocking down the three while being knocked out herself. No foul, but the three moves it to 30-16 to in favor of the Lions. A little later, it'd be Catlins again. Same, same shot, opposite place. The three's good. UNA up 15, under three and a half to go in the half. Walgamuth showed some high-level IQ on this next play. 2.40 to go. The deep pass, pass was swatted, tracks it down. She's going to the lane. She head fakes, passes to Alyssa Clutter, who finishes it off. 35-21 after that pretty play. She'd run the break again on the next possession as she'll look to Allie Craig Cruz at the elbow extended. She's eventually going to nail the three. Seven of the Lions' 15 midfield goals in the first came from three as the purple and white would take a 41, 42, excuse me, to 21 lead into the break. UNA goes on to win 77-67. Another school from the Sunshine State was the visiting team for the men's game, Florida Gulf Coast. Both teams struggled to get into a groove early. A, a minute 30 to play in the half. Lions down two. K.J. Johnson up top. Gets a screen from Dallas Howell. Drives the lane. Reverse back. Pulls up from seven feet. Sinks the shot to tie it. Next time down the floor, he'd show some range. Pump fakes the defender. Relocates it. Throws up the three. It's in. He gives UNA a three-point lead. FGCU needs a timeout. The Lions close the half on a 7-0 run. We'll make it six of their last seven to take a 28-25 lead in the break. With the Eagles answered almost 12 minutes ago, Franco Miller Jr. gets in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Elevates, slams it, monster jam. Who makes the Lion lead just six? A few minutes later, UNA is actually down five. Lions working to the far side. Johnson to Howell to Jakari Lane. Mid-range jumper falls. He's fouled two. The Lehigh grad would nail the free throw to make it 57-55, and UNA would actually come back and prevail 70-69.